Behind me is Manly. In front of me is Shelly Beach. We got snorkels, we got flippers. We're gonna go for a little bit of an adventure in the coral. We're here with our snorkeling gear. We're about to get snorkeled. <laughs> Bondi for a surf this morning. The verdict was we are shit. We can't surf. It's too rough. Couldn't even get out there. There's a saying a good tradesman never blames his tools but I don't think the surfboard is it's not the right one. It's too heavy. I think it's like soaked up water or something. So I'm gonna let it sit in the sun for a bit and then I'm gonna list it on marketplace because it's just not fulfilling my needs. Right now we're back going back to the car put this heavy ass surfboard back in there and then we're gonna go snack on some food somewhere. Somewhere. Hey, Xanthi. Mm -hmm. Give us a wave. Ooh, that was pretty sick. Just filling up. We're gonna go home and watch a movie after this. Whoa. Finally home from our little beach day. Feeling rather tired. Feeling really sunburnt. We're gonna go, we're gonna have a little rest and then we're gonna go across the road and have a nice beer at the pub. <laughs> Came here for a beer, ended up getting a cocktail and guac. Now we're gonna get a second one. Hello everyone, bit of catching up to do. This place is in absolute shambles at the moment. Currently going through a bunch of camera gear and sorting out, sorting it out, basically. And it is coming along to my bedtime. I've also done the washing today, as you could probably see. Most of it I'm just gonna wear in the next few days, so I don't feel like putting it away. I know it's bad. I know that's a really bad habit. Anyway, so speaking of habits, this book, Atomic Habits, has changed the way I've been thinking lately. And there's a lot of great points in it, and I'm gonna run through them soon. The biggest thing that this book has helped change for me is my morning routine. Okay, you see, before reading this book, my morning routine looked a lot like this. I'd wake up, I'd instantly grab my phone, and I'd be on TikTok, I'd be on Instagram, I'd just be scrolling, or on YouTube, I'd just be scrolling. I would delay me getting out of bed, basically, and it would put a, it would put a rush on the rest of my morning, getting ready, I would sometimes show up to places late because of this addiction, because of this addiction that so many of us have, our phones. Fuck that shit. <laughs> what you people out there need to do is pick up a good book and fucking read it. I recommend this one. So that was my old morning routine. My new morning routine looks a lot like this. I wake up using my phone alarm, turn it off, get up immediately, walk over, sit in this very seat where I'm sat right now. I meditate for exactly six minutes in the morning. I use this cool little digital timer, that way I'm not having to use my phone. I then do some push-ups, some crunches, drink some water. That's good shit. Then I'll shower, brush my teeth. I'm so sunburned. Look how fucking sunburnt I am. My shoulders are in so much pain, they're so burnt. Oh my god, I'm red as a fucking lobster. Get dressed, make the bed. That's a good one, that's a big one. Warm it up. Oh 
sure hope I didn't wipe my asshole with that, but I'll have a nice cup of coffee. Now is about the time of the morning where I would make myself a nice little cup of coffee. It's 7.30 right now. <laughs> I'll then pack the rest of my camera gear for the day and then I'm off for the day. And if you end up reading this book because I'm telling you to read it, it will tell you to make a little checklist like this to check off your little morning jobs. Being able to see an active progression bar, I think it really, really helps. I'm the type of person to start doing something and then midway through doing that, I'll get distracted and do something else. And then I'm doing two things at once. Sometimes it'll end up being three and then Eventually, none of them get done, basically. I'm trying to fix that with lists. Ticking them off one by one, one thing at a time. Put all your attention, all your detail into one thing at a time. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Now is the time of the morning where I get to sit down and relax and enjoy my coffee. I've gone through this morning and I've checked off all of my little sequences I guess you could call it. and it's 750 I don't have to leave until 830 so I got plenty of time to sit relax enjoy my coffee now's the time where I can watch you know a little video on YouTube you know a little bit of TikTok nah no no TikTok in the morning that's a joke I just watch a bit of YouTube I like to watch um I've been watching a lot of stand-up comedians actually on on uh, YouTube if you guys haven't checked it out already, I recommend the Flagrant Podcast. It's hilarious with Andrew Schultz. Now is usually the part of the morning where I pack all this shit up. Item number one. This is my work gear. Inside I've got the Canon EOS R5C 15 to 35, 24 to 105. I've got this big flash. Rode Go 2 microphone, so I've got four of them in here. Various batteries and things. And then i got another flash. This one goes on the camera. I also have way too many Canon batteries. There's like eight batteries here. And they go in here. I also carry this. It's a, this is the Ronin S2. This is my gimbal. Not my gimbal, it's the work gimbal. That's my gimbal, that's the Ronin S. This is the work drone. This is the DJI Phantom 4 Pro Graphite. And then I also just carry my backpack, this backpack with this camera, uh, headphones, things like hard drives and stuff that I edit off of, charging cables, spare batteries, and just a bunch of other things that are mine that I like to bring with me, you know, because I like to make content. Headphones, I got the AirPod Pro Maxes. These are great. I picked up the most expensive headphones I could for my job because I use them every single day and I can claim them on tax, basically. And these are the best headphones on the market at the moment, so gotta have the best for the best, basically. Um, I talked about this bag in a few videos ago. This is the Brevity Jumper. Great bag, love it. Been using it every day for the last couple of months. It cops a beating, it loves it. I love it. I recommend this bag to anyone that asks about it. So this is my, this is my gear that I carry with me everywhere I go. I've got way more in the car as well, I'll show you that in a sec. <laughs> but this is the basics. I'm also going to pack some shorts, because it might get hot later. Oh, and I've got my laptop in there as well. We're in for a good day today, guys. <laughs> Twenty-four right now I'm heading straight to the office we have a new staff member starting with us this morning so I don't want to be pointing I don't want to be pointing a camera in his face making him feel un I don't know uncomfortable so yeah I'll pick this up when I can it's, uh, it's just fast five now, I just got back. It's been a good day today. I've had a floor plan and a video shoot this afternoon. It got a bit hot during today, so I took my pant, my long pants off and I got the shorts on. I feel good about the video shoot I did the Savo. Just oh, went together so seamlessly, I love that. The new guy started today as well, his name's Alex. Great guy, shout out to Alex if you're watching this. Other than that, I've just had a great day. It's been fun, I'm gonna do a few things and then I'm off to do the grocery shopping.
$27 later. Here we are. I like to get lost in love. And I told you I would call.